Good morning everybody. So today I'm doing the big wardrobe switch over. I'm putting all of my summer stuff into storage and I'm bringing out all of my cozy autumn winter bits. I'm not gonna lie, in previous years I have done this on the 1st of September. However, with us being away and just catching up on life when we came back, let me show you guys the current state of my wardrobe and then we can start organising it all. I have all of my summer bits in here, which to me always looks messy, but it's not messy. It's just because it's so colourful. It's just hard to organise summer stuff and make it look aesthetically pleasing. And then I have, and then on this side I have short dresses, trousers, and a bunch of shoes and then i also have this wardrobe in the spare bedroom i'm sure you guys know the setup and in here i just have um some knits and jumpers that i can still wear that i've still been wearing here and there during summer and then here i have blazers um i'm going to be moving most of this stuff next door because this is what i'm going to be wearing and then i start anything which i'm not wearing which is out of season um, here so I have all of my coats, my jackets, everything is under this bed. This, so yeah you can see I have knits, coats, boots, all of that, all of the stuff which I'm going to be wearing from now on I have in here so yeah. That's the situation which I'm dealing with right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of this wardrobe, I'm going to put it next door, clean this wardrobe and then start, and then start moving things in. I've just cleared out my wardrobe now I'm gonna start organizing everything and color coordinating everything for me this is definitely the most exciting part um, and by the way I am wearing brown leggings they're my Lululemon line leggings and um, they do look like my skin color um, but I'm wearing leggings just we were 16 up all night love and heartbreak was our life we got drunk and smoked your dad's okay so this is where we're at with the wardrobe i've just done a little bit of organizing um so i've done long coats here knits and then blazers and short jackets i'm now going to organize all of the summer stuff so i'm going to start folding it all away because there's just so much stuff and i feel like if i leave this to the very last minute it's going to be a big job so yeah this is the pile of summer stuff which i need to fold away um thankfully summer stuff doesn't take up that much room i'll pop you all on another time lapse and uh, we can get organizing all of this summer stuff it's gonna be a big job dreamt of a life in a big town skyscrapers and neon lights Ooh, i still think of you so I folded all of my summer stuff and now I need to, I've got two of these bags full of autumn winter bits next door. It took me absolutely ages to do all this but um, yeah, it's probably one of the biggest jobs. So yeah, let's go next door. Those are the two bags which have all of my autumn winter bits. There's some coats in here which I won't be wearing coat to be fair, it's so cold today that I probably will be wearing coat. That, that I probably will be wearing a coat very soon. Yeah, it's so cold today that I probably um, will be, I will start wearing coats very, very soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna get everything out. I'm gonna get everything out. I'll put you guys in another time lapse, but this is where I'm at. I also took um, like a 20 minute break to have lunch. Had some soup, a little bit of mango. Um, yeah. Ooh, 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 still dream of you. at the halfway mark um in terms of the actual wardrobe switch in terms of the actual wardrobe switch over um i have pretty much emptied this wardrobe and i'm starting to fill it up with all of my coats this wardrobe tends to be my coat wardrobe which sounds so excessive but it's just what i need <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous i know it i know it sounds excessive but i have so many coats that i need just space for it uh, so yeah, I'm going to start putting all of my coats in here. I have all of my puffer coats, which to be honest, I need right now because it's so cold. So I'm now going to go through all of my shoes. This wasn't a mistake and we can grow old if you love me again, my friend. This time is different, so please do Good not morning, everybody. 
everybody i'm just heading into town to shoot a campaign um so i've got to do that and i'm also going to get my nails done so i'll just quickly show you guys my outfit before i head out um i'm wearing this dress here it's a knit dress uh, i'm so happy that i can actually start wearing all of my nice knit dresses um i have no clue where this is from um but i will leave it in the i'll try and find something similar i'll try but I think it's probably a new look from last year, two years ago. I've got all of my gold jewellery on. Hair is just back. I've got these boots on, which I just, I'm obsessed with these boots. And I've just got my little black bag. Uh, I have actually got a t-shirt on underneath this dress, so you can see it a little bit, which is a bit annoying. Once I come back from town, I have a bunch. I have a bunch of things to unbox. I'm just hiding my dress. My dress is just on one of the labels. Um, so I'm going to unbox them with you. And, uh, and then I'll also show you guys... And then I'll also show you guys um, uh, the situation when it comes to my wardrobe. And then I'll also try and upload this video today. It's a busy day, a lot to do. <laughs> Several hours later. It's been quite a few hours. I'm back home now. I got my nails done. I'll show you. Will it focus? No, it won't really focus on it. But yeah, I went for red because um, I wasn't sure whether to go for burgundy or red. And I was filming a campaign this morning, as I said earlier, um, whilst I was in town. And um, the red just looks a lot better on camera. Uh, also, I'm going to a wedding dress, which I'm wearing is burgundy. It's absolutely, I love the dress. And I thought if I go for like dark red or burgundy nails, and it might be a bit too matchy matchy. I wanted my nails to pop a little bit. Before I do the unboxing, let's go through my wardrobe and uh, show you guys what it looks like and all of that good stuff okay so this is what my room looks like i'm just watching don't tell is it no it's not don't tell the bride say yes to the dress i'm absolutely i haven't stopped watching it um i wasn't I, I used to watch it here and there before the engagement but now i'm like watch it every day and because on youtube they're only like 10 minutes long i just watch them all the time so this is my wardrobe as you guys already know open it all up for you so you can have a proper look so this is what my wardrobe looks like obviously it looks a lot more streamlined just because there's absolutely no color and uh, just because i don't really wear color in autumn winter i do have pops of color here i do wear pops of color here and there but not that much saying that i did have a green jumper from zara and i don't know where it's gone it's not here hmm i have a lot a lot of knitwear now i knew i had a lot of knitwear but maybe i just forgot i temporarily forgot so um yeah i have a lot <laughs> i'm probably storing my knitwear in the worst possible way that you could possibly store it um knitwear is always best stored folded um on a shelf but i just do not have that ability my wardrobe is mainly mainly has hanging space so i just can't do that and if i fold it it also means i don't wear it and to me what's worse than uh, and for me there's nothing worse than not wearing the items which you are buying because it's ultimately a waste of money so yeah these are all of my knits i have longer knits here so like knit dresses uh long cardigans i have shorter i have short knits here like jumpers and then i have jackets on this side and then i have so many pairs of faux leather trousers and then normal trout and then normal trousers back here i've got my abercrombie trousers my h&m cream trousers and then down here i have all of my boots and trainers i'm missing a pair of boots just here just because um i wore them today but yeah i just left them downstairs um but yeah i have all of my boots here and trainers which i love to wear i love to wear my converse my black and white converse uh during autumn winter i don't really wear them in summer <clears throat> because i don't tend to wear a lot of black in summer so yeah that is my main wardrobe and then this wardrobe houses all of my coats so I have all of my scarves, gloves, hats, all of those goodies there, short coats, I've got all of my short coats here, a bunch of hangers just because summer stuff obviously like it's thinner so you can uh, have a lot more on your wardrobe which means I use a lot more hangers in summer but then in autumn winter I don't really need as many. And then back here I have all of my long coats and my puffy coats are here as well then i just have some random miscellaneous stuff 
back here but it's mainly my coats here and then down just under there i've got extra boots ugg boots so yeah that's it for my wardrobe organization part of this video although i feel like it hasn't taken up that much of the video i'm not sure it it took me hours um it took me absolutely hours and i was dreading it and it just took me longer because i kept taking breaks anyway let me show you guys the unboxing because i have so many things to unbox first thing i'm going to unbox is from nadine Murabi. i'm not sure if i'm saying that right is is it nadine or nadine um Murabi? so they contacted me and said that they wanted to give me something and uh, say congratulations for my engagement um so yeah i'm really excited to see what they've got i have seen so many people try on their dresses i'm going to try this dress on as well for you all i'm also going to try this dress on it's absolutely beautiful on uh, online like i picked the dress and it's absolutely stunning like uh, just gorgeous everything is packaged up beautifully they've just left me a really kind message oh okay yeah <laughs> so sweet so it seems like i've got some sort of dust bag here oh my gosh oh wow okay i'm always so dramatic i'm so sorry for my reaction it's just my natural it's just my natural initial reaction so i can be a bit dramatic i do apologize and um, but yeah they've actually they sent me this I would say pajama set, but I've seen people rock these uh, outfits out and about and they look gorgeous. But I'm not sure whether it's a pajama set or just a evening outfit. So this is a white shirt um, with, with fluff feathers, feather details on the sleeves. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then we also have the trousers with the matching which also has feathers on the bottom how gorgeous is that oh my gosh oh my goodness okay i'll try that on as well and then oh my gosh oh my gosh this is the dress which i picked out of course it had to be white ish this dress is stunning it's absolutely beautiful and it's made so beautifully oh my goodness okay i'm just going to insert the try on now okay so i've got the dress on from nadine marabi and wow what a stunning dress i am obsessed it's absolutely beautiful i absolutely love this dress and i'll link it in the description box so if anybody's interested i just thought i'd show you all the details of the dress as well so it's really beautifully made so this is the louisa dress and the darcy pjs so they are pjs um so this dress is called louisa and the i'll link everything in the description box um it's absolutely beautiful i got these in a size 12 i'm guessing medium i got these in a size medium i'm a uk 10 12 so i hope this all fits okay so this is the pajama set how gorgeous i absolutely love it and i was thinking i feel like this would be the perfect hindu pajama set um they actually have a pink and a purple version online as well so you can get matching ones for your bridesmaids um but yeah so so cute i absolutely i absolutely love it i got a package from garnier this is the inside and then this is what they sent me they have sent me the half a million probiotic repairing eye mask and also sheet face mask this is what the face mask looks like and then this is what the eye mask looks like i love to have a face mask on when i am in the bath and i usually use the vitamin c one because i actually love that and i always get them for people as gifts they're really good gifts just because um anything self-care i love to give people um but yeah i cannot wait to use this so this is for glowing healthy skin it's for all skin types you only need to leave it on for 15 minutes i tend to leave mine for like an hour i don't know absolutely ages um but yeah it's for 
dull, tired, it's for dull, dry and tired looking skin. Again, I'll leave that in the description box. I have three Amazon boxes of stuff to show you because I've been doing a little bit of shopping on there, mainly beauty and home stuff. First package. This is not what I was expecting. Interesting. Okay. Perfect timing, actually. Um, so, first package. So, in this first package, I got... Um, this set of Barry M nail polishes. I only, fun fact, I only use Barry M nail polishes on my toes. They last the longest, they're shiny. These are my favorite for my toes. So they're part of the Jelly range and this is the Pride collection. I guess it's for like Pride or something. Cause it's like the rainbow. I absolutely love Barry M nail polishes. I think they're so good, really good quality. And now I have a full range of all these bright colours. I also got a bottle of this perfume. So I feel like I have a really good core collection of day-to-day -day perfumes for spring, summer. And although I'm not the kind of person who really gets caught up in that kind of thing, I would wear my perfumes all year round. This last year, I've really got into perfumes. And I don't know if this one is a good one for autumn, winter. I'm not sure. But I just... I wanted one so I got it <laughs> um, so this is the Emporium Emporia Armani Diamonds Perfume this is what the bottle looks like let me just spray a little bit on my arm it's a really nice everyday perfume and I think this would work and to me this would work all year round however if any of you guys have um, any perfume recommendations for autumn winter Specifically, so everyday perfumes for autumn winter. What are your favorites? Let me know. Box number two. Let's continue on with beauty. I got some false eyelashes. I got some false eyelashes because I'm going to a wedding. Really hardly ever wear falses, but I just thought, why not? Now, one of my friends keeps telling me about this Wella. Is it Wella? Well, Walida. Walida? Walida Skin Food. She absolutely loves it and she was like, Josie, you need to try it. So now I'm finally trying it. If you try this, let me know your thoughts. So next thing I thought I would try is this Elemis Cleansing Butter. Everybody hypes about Elemis products, and specifically their cleansing butters. I've just used up my um, heavy duty cleanser. Um, so I thought I would try this one just because it gets so much hype. I've picked up quite a few things which I've heard a lot of hype about, like things which loads of people hype about. I just thought that I would try them. Um, and yeah, Amazon has all these products. And then I also thought I would get this Garnier Vitamin C Day Cream. You guys know that I love Garnier skincare. I even got Jack into Garnier skincare. He uses the hyaluronic acid every day. Uh, I love both the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin C, so I thought I'd get the vitamin C day cream. Let's move on to some home stuff. So, I first thing which I got here is, oh, you get both. Right. I thought you only got one. So, I got these two trays. I thought I only got one, but I think they just came in a set of two. And I plan on using them to display some stuff in the kitchen. Um, I'm not fully sure what my vision is right now, but I got them to display stuff on. So they're not for cooking or anything like that, but uh, I'm gonna take you guys down to the kitchen and we can play about together. And then I also got this nice set from Amazon. Um, we've been on the lookout for, we've been needing new knives for probably just under two years. Um, yeah. I remember, when, I remember the day when we moved in, I was like, oh, we need to buy new knives. And it's been two years and we still haven't bought new knives. Um, the knives which we've got, we got as a present because I just never buy knives. And they can be quite pricey, actually. Um, the knives that we have, currently have, they're just so blunt. So this one I can actually display, which I wanted something which I can display and make it look, you know, put it out and... So it looks nice and pretty. This is what the nice set looks like. I think it's just gonna look really, really nice um, in the kitchen show. So I'll show you guys that in a bit. And then this is the really big box. So basically I bought a floor cushion, a rattan floor cushion, and it's absolutely massive. It's massive, okay? Oh. Okay, so this is the floor 
cushion i do i say cushion very lightly because it's not soft or anything like that it's quite hard um but yeah i want be yeah, i wanted to use it as a floor cushion or kind of like a little i can put like books on it or something like a decorative piece in my office so yeah this is what it looks like absolutely massive oh my goodness it's so big and i've been looking for these for so long i just couldn't find the right one um and i think this one's gonna be perfect so yeah i'll also style this up in my room and um we can see whether it's gonna look good or not i've just tidied up my office so that i could show you guys what the little floor cushion will end up looking like i'm not sure if this is a setup that i'm not sure if this is how i'm going to keep it but i really like the way that it looks yeah i've just popped some books on there and then a diffuser so this diffuser is actually from one of my friends brands um so i'll link it in the description box i did a reel for them but definitely check them out they do some gorgeous home pieces diffusers candles they have an interior business but they're branching out into home homeware as well so definitely check them out and yeah this is what my office is looking like it's honestly never this tidy but i've just taken some pictures for instagram so i wanted it to look really nice table is from graham and green chair is from etsy um vase is from primark and then i've got another candle from my friend's brand to be fair i think meditation is a really good name for it but yeah it's got a really nice soothing smell and this flower arrangement i actually got from a strata event um which is our house developer so they invited me uh to an event and uh they had flower making and i will link try for i'll try and get the details for this flower arrangement i'll link the company which offers it so yeah, this is my office setup. It looks very aesthetically pleasing. You should see what everything looks behind here. It's an absolute mess. I'm not really sure what I was going to do, what I was planning on doing. But anyway, let me just pop this. I bought these two olive oil, infused olive oil, that's what you call it. It's a garlic one and a chilli one. I got them both from Lidl. And... The for the <laughs> and, the and I bought them just for decoration. Um, you guys probably laugh at me. I felt like I used food for decoration, but it's just my vibe. Just my vibe. Okay, so. I don't know if this is really going to work. Yes, I like that a lot. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so this is how I've decided to style. I wouldn't even say style. This is how I've decided to use the tray. Um, I bought this salt. So it's actually salt and pepper um containers that's what I, I assume that's what they're for uh i have never actually put salt and pepper in there i will buy salt and pepper uh, and i'll put them in there and believe it or not i will actually use salt and pepper that i put in here <laughs> and then obviously i bought these two olive oil um infused and then obviously i bought these two olive oil infused i got these from lidl like i said earlier but they're just for display i will not be using them um they look very pretty i might buy another set just to um i might buy another set so i can actually use that set and then obviously now we've got the knives here see i actually really like the whole setup on this side i think it looks really really good i've just moved the kettle and toaster over here okay i think that's it when it comes to this vlog i have chatted enough showed you guys some new bits i have to edit this vlog which i'm gonna try today's wednesday and honestly if i manage to get this vlog up today i will be so proud of myself but it's currently four it's currently 4 p.m and i've not edited and i've not edited a single bit of this vlog so we shall see i will catch you all in my next video bye